Hey, what is going on guys? It's Roscoe here, uh, bringing you a really quick and really simple uh, three-step tutorial just on how to basically improve the quality uh, and visuals of your gameplay footage. So um, I've had quite a few people uh, asking for this uh, for some time now actually, so I do apologize for the delay, but um, I'm hoping that uh, this will you know, just improve your clips and give you guys um, some, some better looking footage when you're making montages and, and that type of thing. And, and to be honest, really, really simple techniques. So some of you may already know this, um, but for those of you who don't, this hopefully will be a handy little help out. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so the very, very first thing, step number one, uh, is going to be um, uh, event pan and crop. Now, the reason we want to do this is most... HD PVRs. In fact, I think all of them. I'm not actually sure. I've used a few, and, and all of them that I've used have done it. Um, they don't record in an entire full screen, and that's really, really annoying when you import your clips because you really start to notice that when it's pointed out. Um, and there's a lot of videos out on YouTube um, that have these these black strips, and it's really frustrating because it's so easy to fix. Um, so you notice at the top here, and then along the right hand side. Um, there are these little black strips, really, really small, kind of insignificant, but again, once it's been pointed out to you, you'll start seeing it everywhere and you'll just go rack your brains, why, why, just just crop it, it's so easy. All you do is come down here to your clip, uh, hit event pan and crop, and then simply drag it in to wherever you want so that it just eliminates those black lines. So it's really, really simple, and you can obviously do it any way you want, and you can drag it right in or whatever, but up to you guys where exactly you want it. Um, and that's basically it, you just drag it in. Now, once you've done that, you can go ahead and say, you know, saved, pan, crop, or whatever, and hit save, preset. I've got one already, which is that one, so there we go no black lines whatsoever. So really, really simple. Um, one little tip on what not to do here. What you definitely don't want to do is notice when I've done it, it's at the start of the clip. Now there is a reason for that. It's because if you go, let's say we go into the middle. Okay, and I go back to event pan and crop. Let's do an obvious, ridiculous change. All right, so now we've got black lines on the side there. Now you notice down here, it's put in this little keyframe. Okay, so what that's actually telling the software to do is, from the start, which is here, which is where we've done the first crop, which is the good crop, it's gonna slowly, as it comes through the timeline, through down here, it's gonna very slowly, once it gets to here, change into this. Okay, so I mean, for example, I play this. So you notice these black lines slowly creeping in. Okay, and that's something you definitely do not want and something that uh, is really, really annoying if you accidentally do. So you want to make sure that in your timeline down here, uh, there are absolutely no little keyframes. Okay, all right, and that's basically it for panning and cropping. I mean, you can pan and crop any way you want. You can, you know, you can zoom in. Um, if you're doing cinematics and stuff, obviously you can chop out um, bits that you don't want in um, when you're in hardcore mode and stuff you can chop it out so there's no no words or on the mini map or anything like that so um, really really simple guys and something that you can do quite quickly so let's move on to step two now we're gonna get to the color stuff all right so um, heaps of people have been asking me about color correction and various things and to be honest um, it's really down to your eye everyone's gonna have a different idea of what you know, it looks good. So um, don't use this as a as an exact thing. I mean, just as a yardstick, maybe something that you can um, make your own, you know, and, and do it your way. But um, a simple, simple, simple way of doing it, um, I'll show you right now. So go to your clip, hit your event effects, and go up to color corrector, add, okay. So now that's in your event effects. Um, now you can spend heaps of time um, coming up to these color wheels and you know changing 
bits and pieces around here, making them all different. And um, there's also a secondary uh, color corrector, which is also quite handy, which you can go to um, to change. But I mean, that's that's up to you, you guys. I mean, if you are just plain, plain beginner, and you go, you know what, I just want it to look good. Please just show me. <laughs> um, it's actually a lot easier than people think. So all you do is come down here to the little thing that says saturation. And then you notice if I punch this up, you look at the color difference. I mean, that's too dramatic for me, but it does change it dramatically. It just, just gives you that extra bit of punch. So if I put it maybe somewhere that you can see a bit better, okay, like there where it's a bit more landscape. Um, okay, if I put it on nothing, so reset to none, okay. And then we move it to full so much more color just comes out. So it just brings that color out and it just saturates it. Um, now, I think, I mean, I would probably, that's too much for me, but I would put it on anywhere between, you know, 1.4 or 1.7. Um, I think my preset's 1.7. Yes, it is. So it just punches it up just a little bit more without it looking too cartoony, because obviously once you saturate it too much, it's going to look a bit weird. Um, but yeah, it's really up to you guys, as I said, color correction and stuff is down to each person's eye. So that right there is the only thing you need to do if you didn't want to go any further uh, with color correcting. That's pretty much all you need to do. Um, so we'll look at the differences here. So that's with the color correction I've done. And that's just the standard HPR PVR footage. So kind of <laughs> looks like black and white when it goes back to it. There's really, really lack of color without it. So once you start doing this, you'll you'll really appreciate, I guess, the difference uh, that it makes, as small as it is. So um, let's move on to step three. Okay, so we've event pan cropped and we've color corrected. Um, the third step is actually probably the most important or, or, you know, it's very, very important. And this is one that I don't think a lot of people know about, a lot of editors that have been doing it for a long time definitely know about it but um, for those of you that are just getting into making montages and, and editing in general um, this is going to be the one that you want to take the most attention to so um, what you want to do is go to your event effects okay open that up um, and you want to add this RSMB uh, what does it stand for real smart motion blur okay so what this effect does is it just literally as it sounds, it adds a motion blur and it just basically improves the the uh, smoothness of your of your clips. So it's just going to give you a really nice, well-rounded, smooth image um, that is you know as close to PC looking as you're going to get um, on console. Um, so you can get it for free um, as a as a plugin. Now this will only work with uh, Vegas Pro 10. I believe it's not available on any of the others. Um, however, um, if you've got Vegas Pro 10, I will leave a link in the description as to where to get this from. Um, so once you've got it and followed the descriptions on how to install it, um, just hit add, put it in there. Um, and this one's again really, really easy to, to do. So the one thing you want to pay attention to the most is the one that says main BG blur amount. Okay, now you notice if I put a lot in, yep, that's too blurry. <laughs> so um, I think generally, I mean, I've got a preset, um, but I think generally you want to have it on about 0.4 in my opinion, between 0.2 and 0.4. Um, most of these other things, um, I mean, you can play around with them and see what you like, because um, obviously that's up to you guys. But um, I think that's really the, the key. Um, there's not really a lot you have to do. And it's funny, you chuck this RSMB on and you do one tiny little thing and it just dramatically uh, changes the, the look of your clips. And ultimately, it's gonna make it look a lot nicer. Now, the other thing about RSMB I will tell you while it's just doing a RAM preview is um, it's going to make everything really slow. <laughs> okay, so you notice how slow my RAM preview is going right now. Um, I've got it on, on a decent preview setting, but um, you either want to dumb it down on your preview setting, so put it to draft and put it to a quarter or something to that effect. Um, 
And also with rendering, you're going to find that this is going to triple um, the amount of time uh, it takes. So it's really, really slow, but ultimately, in my opinion, I think it's really, really worth it. Um, when you put this on PC footage, uh, which I have done, um, it still looks really good, but because PC has got that smooth flow anyway, um, it doesn't give it as dramatic a change. Um, so when you put it on console, I think you'll find an immense change and you'll just love it. Okay, so let me just stop this here. So this is it. So it just adds that nice smoothness where you can really see the detail of the ground because it's just blurring out as it's going past. If I just take it off, okay, that's without it. Okay, so it is subtle and in the preview window it's not going to look like a hell of a lot but believe me, when you render it, um, it's going to look awesome. Okay, so for the bonus tip, um, this is an effect I've been using a lot of lately and um, as a relatively new editor, uh, I kind of only learnt about this you know, a little while back and um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking, you know, how do you get this to look like that and this to look like this and so on and so forth. And, and this particular effect plugin uh, is generally the answer, actually. Um, so it's called Magic Bullet Looks. Now, a lot of editors will already uh, be aware of this, but for those of you that, you know, are just getting into it um, and are looking to really dramatically change the uh, appearance of your clips, um, this is definitely one to get. Now, to give you an example, um, okay, so that's with Magic Bullet Looks, and that's without it, okay? Now, you notice, you can basically give you a filter, so it gives you a dark tinge, you can change the lighting, so which parts are lit and which parts are not, you can give it this vignette, uh, which is like a little black cornices, um, and then you can also blur out the edges, and you've got control over where you do that as well, so there's a few different different versions, you know, you can get um, slightly different colors and I've got a few presets here for different different looks and stuff but um, what I'll show you is just to get a basic uh, basic kind of cool I guess sort of gloomy um, appearance okay so let's just click somewhere here all right now once you've loaded it in um, and I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get this from but once you've done all that stuff and installed it uh, load it up into your clip hit edit and it'll bring up this little looks builder okay so here's where you can see what's going to happen all right so first thing you want to do uh, come down here and click on post and then just along the side here, see if I just move my mouse where it says tools a little thing pops out okay so then we want to go first thing and want to change curves so we'll just drag that into here and then it's got these points where you can basically just drag uh, into different lighting. So this is the first thing just to set up your lighting. So down the bottom here, you can kind of do this. You notice it's getting very, very dark. So you don't want to have it too much, but maybe just a little bit. And then the top one here, see so it's just going to change the overall lighting. But again, don't want to go too nuts because it will look fake if you do that. Okay, so it's that one. I'm going to go back to tools and I'm going to do lift gamma gain. Now this is your color set points, okay? So um, the top wheel is uh, your your lift. So if we put that all the way to the blue there, like that. Okay, so that gives you that gloomy blue look. And then you've got the gamma. So this one, I mean, this one's up to you, but I usually like to um, sort of put that into the light blues just to give it a little bit more flex on top like that and then the bottom color wheel uh, is your gain now this is the one where you want to contrast the color so uh, you know blues go well with oranges and yellows and stuff so if you put this wheel if I put it into the oranges see how it just kind of lifts that color up a bit I go into the yellows it's changed you know so you can do whatever you want really but I'm going to put that slightly into the orange I'm just going to take that first wheel back a smidge, I don't want it too dark, like that. Okay, so that gives you this kind of cool blue-orangey effect, okay? 
And then you want to go into Lens, so you click Lens, go up to Tools, uh, and you want to hit uh, Vignette, okay, and drag that down. Okay, already you notice the cornices have gone black. Okay, so with your click you can just change exactly how much of it you want, you know, if you want it centered right there, and then you can move this anywhere you want. So if you're trying to, you know, make something stand out or whatever, you can center it, do whatever you want. But in this instance, we want it centered for the gun. And about there looks good. Um, you've got a few options over here. Um, generally, the one I use is just is your strength. Um, obviously, it means exactly that. Um, more is darker, less is not as dark. So put that on whatever you like. Alrighty. Uh, then you want to do lens again and you want to go to edge softness. Drag that in. Okay, now this one is really cool. So this basically gives you a radius on um, blurring the edges, okay? And again, you can change the amount, you can change where it's located if you want to blur out certain things or whatever. Um, one thing I will uh, point out is you don't want to have it too blurry around the edges when you're using RSMB, at least on console anyway, I've noticed that um, if you blur out a big chunk of like, you know, if I blur out a massive chunk of the edges like that, and then I put RSMB on, um, just the contradiction of blurs tends to make it come out really fuzzy and um, console graphics just don't, don't handle it exceptionally well. So you really only want the edge softness to just maybe graze around where the minimap and stuff is. Um, I mean, up to you guys, but that's what I've experienced anyway. So, anyway, about there looks pretty good. And that's really all you, all you want to do. I mean, there are a few other um, fancy things you can do in these, but that's really the basics of it. And then once you're done with that, you just click OK. And there we are. Sexy magic bullet looks for everybody to enjoy. <laughs> um, that's basically it, guys. I mean, if you have any questions or anything more specific, I know I kind of just glazed over stuff as if everyone knew what I was talking about, and a lot of you will, but a lot of you probably won't. So feel free to, um, you know, put in the comments section or, or send me messages. You know, if you have any particular things you struggle with. I know when I've watched YouTube tutorials and I'm watching it as intently as I can, and, and someone does a hotkey or something that you go, how the heck did you do that? You didn't explain that part. Um, I get it. So. Um, just, just you know, if you have anything like that, just in the comments, let me know, or send me a message, and um, I will go back to you. I promise. Um, I'm not uh, the type of guy that um, doesn't want to help out. That's what this vid's for. So, um, if you guys have any questions, just just let me know. Um, otherwise, if you like this and you want to show it to friends, um, you know, rate it, um, subscribe if you guys want to see more, because I've got a lot more cool vids uh, in the near future. And um, until then, guys. Enjoy this and I uh, hope it works out for you. Take care.